exponent rules. Some of us called it as power rules. And in exponent rules or the power rules, we need to understand how we can simplify and deal with numbers with power. First rule we have when we multiply two numbers have the same base. For example, x bar a multiply x bar b. Notice that x here is the same base. What the meaning of base and power? 2 to the power of 3. This is called it exponent or power. And this one we called it the base. And 2 power 3 means 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 8. And it's not equal to 2 multiplied by 3 because 2 multiplied by 3 is a multiplication, but 2, but 2 to the power of 3 is a base to the power of 3, means a multi repeated multiplication. So let's go back. If I'm multiplying two numbers having the same base, I am adding the power. 2, so this one will be x to the power of a plus b. For example, 2 to the power of 3 multiply 2 to the power of 2. So I put down the same base and 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Second rule, x to the power of a divided by x to the power of b. It can also be written as x to the power of a divided x to the power of b. In case of division, and I am having the same base, I put down the base and I'm subtracting the power. For example, 2 to the power of 5 divided 2. And 2 here, it means 2 to the power of 1. So if I'm writing any number without any power, I can add a power of 1. So the answer here is 2 to the power of 4 after subtracting 5 and 1. Third rule is power and bracket and I have another power. So in this case, I am multiplying the power, not adding them, I am multiplying the power. For example, 3 to the power of 2 all to the power of 5. So I'm going to multiply 2 by 5, which is gives me 3 to the power of 10. X to the power of neg negative a. This is the fourth rule. X to the power of negative a the same as 1 over x to the power of a. So it is a reciprocal, the reciprocal of the value. For example, we all know that 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8, as we said before. So 2 power negative 3 is the same as 1 over 2 power 3 or we can say that it's 1 over 8 as 2 bar 3 is equal to 8. Fifth rule, x to the bar of 0 where x doesn't equal to 0. I can't write a number to the bar of 0 and this number is 0. No. Any value to the bar of 0 is equal to 1. For example, 2 to the bar of 0 is 1. Negative 2 to the bar of 0 is 1 half to the power of zero is one even if it's a fraction even if it's a fraction even if it's a decimal even if it's a decimal rule number six x y to the power of a it's the same as x bar a and y bar a and in this case we distribute the power for example 2x to the power of 3 so i gotta distribute the power so it's going to be 2 power 3 multiply x power 3 and 2 power 3 is 8 so the simplest form is 8x power 3 rule number 7 if i have a fraction the power is positive so i can easily distribute the power for example if i have half to the power of 3 this can be written as 1 power 3 and 2 bar 3. 1 bar 3 is 1 and 2 bar 3 is 8. Rule number 8. If I have a fraction but the power is negative, so first 
I find the reciprocal of the fraction y over x or I can flip the fraction and change the sign of the power so if it's half to the power of negative 3 I'm going to flip the half gives me 2 and changing the power so it's 8 finally rule number 9 x to the power of a over b x to the power of a over b a is the power and b is the root a is the exponent or the power and b is the root for example if it's x power 2 over 3 it means that it's x power 2 but outside i have 3 and x bar half is root of x because we don't write the 2 outside the square root